Okay, I am back and let's go ahead and give this a shot. Well, this isn't working out so well. About to fall off the dang arena. Come on. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Screw the challenge. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna concentrate on just defeating it if I can. So, I'll be back again. Alright, let's try this again. Now, my liege, attack! Destroy this stupid thing so we can go. And so we can end this freaking recording session. Well, actually, I'm not even close to done with this planet yet. Well then. Great. Out of ammo. And I don't have time to really switch manually. Great. No ammo! This is gonna be quite an interesting endeavor. Well, at least at this point, we can now use the suck cannon. Or maybe we can't. Well, shoot. Am I screwed then? No, because I got an extra ammo. For the glove of doom of all things, but whatever. It's here. Great. I really am out of ammo. Come on. Come on, you stupid freaking scorpions. I dare you. God, I can't get... Oh my god. F my life. I'll be back at that... I'll be back when he summons the other scorpions and stuff. killed them using only the Omni wrench but I still didn't get the challenge the skill point or whatever maybe it's because I have to do it with the Omni wrench all the way through and not just uh, not just defeat the big guy himself but whatever at least I saved a lot of ammo by doing it this way and I guess this is when flips actually became really useful so use them if you can if you can master the art of flipping around and I also learned the hard way in this game. Huh. Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for executive chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented grind boots. Look, I, I I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Well, then. That's better. But I was almost trying to say, I learned the hard way in this game the suck cannon cannot suck up boxes like I thought it could. But anyways, we can buy the grind boots for only 2,000 bolts, so... Give me. Well, thanks. I'm going to get out of here while I still can. You've got the grind boots. Well, anyways, now with the grind boots, we can now grind on rails as if we were Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Adventure 2. And also, since I didn't buy any ammo, I saved myself a ton of bolts by switching to Geico. <laughs> 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance or space... Spaceship insurance, whatever. Who cares? 
With the grinding boots, all you have to do is step on the grind rail and Ratchet will start grinding automatically. You don't need to worry about balancing yourself in any way, shape, or form. So, yay, just step on the grind rail and the rest, the, it works itself. So, yay, look de doo well, now that that's done out the way, we have one more place to explore. has an autopilot which will take you to a decommissioned Blarg warship. Our scanners indicate that there may be useful technology on board. Oh, thanks, Gadgetron. Let's go ahead and explore this warship. Well, thankfully the warship is not too large as far as exploration is concerned, but there are plenty of places to go. Well, okay, I can't say that. What am I saying? And also because I was able to store up on some ammo during my unsuccessful attempts, I was able to get some of my ammo back. And at least now I can go around find ammo boxes and actually get some ammo for my real freaking weapons besides my Omni Wrench. Which is nice. I like my Omni Wrench, but not exactly the most useful thing in the world. Well, actually, I take that back. It is useful. Very useful. One other thing that I'm probably not going to be able to do, but I really should make use of this more often, is to switch weapons manually by going through the weapons menu. Why? Because doing things that way allows you to stop time temporarily until you select your weapon and exit out of the pause menu. Like this. So let's see, what can I use? How about the blaster? I got half of my ammo back and I... Yeah, I'm definitely going to need it for these scorpion guys. Hey buddy. Definitely a nice thing to have. By that I mean the sniping feature. Being able to aim not necessarily down the sights because there are no iron sights for this thing. That just wouldn't make any sense. But whatever. It's nice to be able to use this thing. Well, with that, we are already at the very end of the ship. I wonder... Ooh! What does this button do? Thank you for selecting our automated self-destruct feature. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please remove all personal belongings. Well then, looks like we have a bit of a problem. The ship with that button activated not only a door back at the very beginning of the area, but it also activated the ship's self-destruct sequence. Yeah. So, in this time, this like, at this time, we need to make our way off of the ship and get out of here before time runs out. After our reward, we will get an info bot. But of course, the enemies around here are not going to make things easy. Same with the poison gas. Hm. Well, so much for it not being easy. That was pretty easy. But on my very first playthrough, it did take me several attempts. But here, not so much. Not sure, maybe it's because I ran through it as fast as I could rather than try to take out every enemy I see. I mean, that is the idea, just to get out of there as soon as possible. Darla Gratch reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Cork will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Did you see that? Yes, I hope that poor woman is all right. Ah, uh, she's fine, I think. I was talking about the hoverboard races. 
Well, with that, we got another info bot that'll lead us to yet another brand new planet. And that planet, I can't remember the name of it, but I know the city's location is none other than Black City. Blackwater City. In Blackwater City, we'll finally be able to take on the hoverboard racing challenges. That's gonna be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do that. But we'll be worrying about that next time. This is Gerald Snivy with Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Next time, we're heading on off to Blackwater City. Because they built that city on rock and roll.